Good morning, Dan. How are you doing? Good morning. How I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Dude, th- this book, th- this is fighting words, but I like that as fighting words because <laughs> er- everybody's going to come with their own story and you you are starting the ruckus. Well, yeah, it's, it's the thing is, you know, there's no one right list and there's no wrong list, but certainly uh, people have strong opinions about the order of which the players should be presented and who gets left off and who's on and that's part of the fun, you mm-hmm. know, and, and uh, we're, we're ready to, to take the punches and who knows, we might even throw a few ourselves. <laughs> this is every bit the reason why when someone says, even though I live here in Carolina and we've got our Panthers, people go, so who's your favorite team? All of them. Just give me a good game. And that's what this book proves. It's all of them. Well, you know, if you look at the history of the league, there's just so many great players. There's excellence to be found on, on every team, you know, all over the place. And I think um, uh, it, it's it, it's a fun look at the history of the league. If you if you think back at of all the great players, and we tried to really encompass all of the eras and all the teams and all the positions, and and really not leave anything out. Although, again, we probably fail a little bit, and we don't we don't have any kickers on our list, nor any punters or or return people, uh, but. I think we, we, we did our best, and, and hopefully the list will resonate with a lot of fans. One of the things that really scares me, only because this is Michael Jordan country, is the fact that he is the greatest NBA player of all time, but the people that are wearing his number 23 really don't know him anymore, the, the, the young adults and things. I'm so afraid Tom Brady's going to go through that same stunt. Well, you know, it happens. I mean, it's crazy, but I, I think that was one of the things that we struggled with in putting this list together a little bit. We had five people who voted, and I think uh, it's easy to forget the players who played in previous eras from when we were alive or, or players that we didn't really see play every Sunday. Um, so, you know, you, you, we had to really look hard at the players who played in the thirties and forties and fifties and we're dominant. And, you know, we're making all pro every year and and we're some of the early inductees into the pro football hall of fame. Uh, I don't know that we completely succeeded with that. You know, um, for instance, Otto Graham is number 11 on our list. I think for a long period of time, he was probably the consensus greatest player who ever played in the NFL. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was he was the Tom Brady of his era. Wow. And, you know, uh, he, he's fallen over time. There's a lot of players uh, that we have, 10 players above him who all played after him. Most of them, all of them played in the 1970s or later, with the exception of uh, Jim Brown and mostly Dick Buckus, who played a little in the 70s, was mostly a 60s player. Man, you talk about those players in the 1970s. That was every bit the reason why I tuned in on Sundays and Monday night football. And then my brothers and I would emulate those games on the on the living room floor. Yeah, I mean, that, that was a great era of football, no question. And I think uh, a great era for growth of the National Football League in terms of popularity and reach. And, um, you know, it, it, it's funny that, you, you know, the sport's great because it's growing still and it's, it's really never stopped growing. And um, it's found new ways to grow, obviously, with gambling now, yeah, fantasy yeah. football, appealing to kids in different ways. You know, they got players getting slimed and all this stuff. So um, it, it's, a, it's an interesting way that the league has continued to expand and uh, reach different kinds of uh, audiences. See, I still, I'm still convinced that Taylor Swift is a publicity stunt. I, it's, it's a way to get the new people to watch the game. <laughs> well, I, I know there's a lot of cash registers ringing. That's all I know. Whether it's <laughs> album sales or jerseys or tickets or whatever, I mean, there's a lot of cash registers ringing because it's Taylor Swift and National Football League. <laughs> if Pete Rose was a NFL player, would he be in the book? Because I noticed that OJ is in the book. Yes, he would be. Good for Our, you. Uh, yeah. Uh, w- what we did is we decided that we weren't going to look at off the field indiscretions or you know perceived indiscretions and just look at a player's contributions. And both Mike Sando, my co-author, and I are voters for the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and that's how the Pro Football Hall of Fame wants us to do it. So it was kind of easy for us to say, let's look – strictly at what a player did on the field. So, you know, Ray Lewis is on our list. As you said, OJ's on our list. Um, you know, 
if you start looking at what a player did off the field, it can be a real mm-hmm. slippery slope. If you're going to start judging guys, you know, someone was accused of something, someone did something, someone, you know, where do you stop? Mm-hmm. I mean, you, 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 before you know it, you're trying to play God and saying, well, his sin was greater than his sin. It's this makes it that doesn't, I mean, you know, I, I don't want to be in that business. I want to be in the business of looking at football players. Did you come across any urban legends? You know, we all hear these stories, but when you start digging in, you're going, Ooh, it didn't really play out that way. Um, you know, I, I think most of these players and the players that we talked about, uh, I was pretty familiar with, yeah. obviously, you know, you learned a little bit more. I learned a little bit more about uh, Sammy Baugh when I wrote a chapter about him, who's number 25 on our list and was considered the greatest passer in the National Football League for many years, even though he was throwing around a ball that looked like a pumpkin. <laughs> and uh, he was quite a character. You know, he was a, he was a cowboy, and he played played the role to the, to the hilt and uh, really was, uh, I think, a predecessor to a lot of the great star quarterbacks that followed him, you know, especially when you get into the 60s and 70s and some of the players that uh, you and I grew up watching. Yeah. Well, this book also includes four people that are still playing right now. Two Aaron's, one Julio, one Patrick. I mean, we're living legends right now. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you probably could have argued that some guys who are still playing that did not make the list should have made the list like uh, Taylor's boyfriend. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and maybe Trent Williams or TJ Watt. You know, there, there are people who will argue, I think, for those players. But um, I I think what we really tried to do was look at what a player, what a current active player has accomplished up to this point and and not look at what we think he might accomplish in the future and say, was that worthy of inclusion on the list? And there's an interesting story about Mahomes. You know, he wasn't on our initial list that we compiled a few years ago, Uh, but then he won a second Super Bowl. And we said, well, you know, two Super Bowls is pretty good. I mean, he's still such a young player and his body of work is is small, but, you know, there clearly has been greatness there. And just like Brady, he wants to buy into the football league by by owning his own team. And I, I can't wait for something like that to happen. And you make it so exciting by bringing all this up. Yeah, well, you know, I think um, everybody wants – a piece of the National Football League, you know, and and it makes sense because uh, it is such a great entertainment uh, property that that uh, it, it's it's something that's certainly worthwhile for a player like Mahomes to look into ownership. Wow! Please come back to this show anytime in the future, Dan. The door is always going to be open for you. All right. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Well, you be brilliant today. Okay. Okay. Thank you.